up you guys welcome back to my channel it is me your girl sarah b listen i have a haul for you so i am racing home right now driving the speed limit of course i would never not and then i'll do my haul for you i'm so excited for you guys to see it i don't know if you can see behind me i did buy furniture we're about to do a thrift haul y'all We are here for a haul as past Sarah just told you all. Let's just address, address, address the fact I don't look good today. And listen, shut up. I know. Okay? Don't tell me because I know. It's been a rough day. This side of the camera looks great. That side of the cram camera. Blessed be almighty God on high. Can I speak English? I don't know. But... This side of the camera looks great. That side of the camera is my depression room. So don't look, don't, you don't care. You don't care, okay? You don't care. Okay, so today I went to Marshall's and I went to the thrift store. I went to Goodwill in Sioux City. Super safe, masked up. All right, let's do the thrift store stuff first. I'm going to put on the pieces later after they're washed because they're not washed yet. So after they're washed, I'll put them on and that's the, what you're going to see in the clips of me wearing them because I would not wear them unwashed because that's gross. Okay, okay. She gave it to me in a garbage bag because she said, hey, then you can use it later. Let's do this first. This is a cute little avocado I got for Millie. It is from Zippy Paws and I went and looked on their website. It's $6.99. I got it for $3.99. So, and she's been playing with it ever since we got home. I got her another one that won't be in the bag because it's already hiding in the closet for her Christmas present. Alrighty, let's look at my bag of goodies. Oh, well, what we're sitting on right now, you saw it in the car, and what we're using as our table today is the end table that I bought. I bought one, Lexi bought the other one, and they were $10 each. So it was like a steal. But, okay, I almost just forgot about the breakable item that I have in the middle of the bag. And I just about dumped it everywhere. But, lady came through clutch. I can use this now as a garbage bag. Super cool, right? I thought so. Anyways, let's get start. Move that bus. Okay, what do I want to show first? Wash first. I'll show you. Oh, this is boring. Super boring. I got a Nike tee for the exercise that I don't do for $5. $4.25. All my shirts were $4.25. Okay, the next thing I got is like this work top. I call it a work top because it's like way too fancy to do anything else with. I think it's super cute. It's like a, this pattern too. So very, I don't know, very formal. And then maybe like a blazer or something. The next thing I got was this dress that makes me feel like an elementary school teacher. This is it. This is the dress. I think it is so cute. Look at the little birds on it. But yeah, it makes me feel like an elementary school teacher. Which is fine. The next thing I got was another dress. I don't even know how to show this to you because it's like messy. It's one of those like wrap dresses. Um, and it's yellow. And this color really complements my skin tone like really well. My olive -y undertones are very well complimented. Complimented. Complimented in this. Oh, that's how that works. <gasps> oh. Listen, a bitch was confused in the dressing room, and I tried to step through this, but you, this pulls out to tighten around you, and then you tie it. Oh my lord, that makes so much sense. I thought I was going to have to cut something. The next thing I got was this red skirt. It's leather, pleather, if you will, and it reminds me of, you know this show, Once Upon a Time, Emma Swan's red leather jacket? This is what this reminds me of. I love it. The zipper is broken, but I got it to work in the dressing room. And this was the last thing that I got for clothing, and it is from L.L. Bean. It's like a, not a denim material, but it is a thicker material. It's really nice, and I do like this color. I have another jacket very similar to this that I got in my last thrifting haul, but I wear that jacket all No, it wasn't in my last one. Oh my god, I got that jacket like a year ago. But, whatever. And it's almost the same color, but it's not. That one's like an army green, and this one is almost like a turquoise teal color. Next, what did I get next? I call these Instagram purses, because every, listen, everything I have and need in my purse will not fit in this purse. But look at how dang cute it is. It needs, it needs a clean, which 
It doesn't everything always, but it's so cute. It's so little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this one I literally saw and I was like, I have to have it. Look at how cute and little it is. I call it an Instagram purse because I'm only ever really going to use it for an Instagram picture. Because um, I really couldn't foresee myself holding anything in here. But I might because when I do go to the bars, when I go out, I use like little purses or like little like wristlets. So maybe, maybe I'll use this. Um, I feel like it's got better swing to it too. Swing to it, swing to it. So if I ever needed to like hit somebody with it and it's got a hard solid bottom so I feel like it could do some damage. Next thing I got at Goodwill was this cute little pumpkin that his top comes off and I'll maybe we'll just put like some candy in there or something but I only got it was only one dollar and seventy five cents and this thing the last thing I got is literally so heavy like like yeah like it's metal um, but then there's a little place for a candle in it and I'm just gonna use it as like a bookend I say a bookend but I actually mean a movie end because Lexi and I don't have books we don't read um, I know you can't tell because we're such intellectual uh, people but I'm gonna put it like to hold our movies up so isn't it cute I think it's so cute maybe put a candle in it probably not because Millie and or Lexi's cat Luna Odds are they're gonna eat a candle or something like that. And then the last thing we got was the table. See, look, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. I don't know why I lifted that. Listen, head empty, we stupid. Capish, capash, I love it, I love it. I love what I got at the thrift store. Now we have the Marshalls part of this, I almost said tour, part of this haul. Let's get it, get into it. Okay, so I bought, like I said earlier, that th toy for $3.99 or three ninety nine for Millie. I bought a different toy. It's like a reindeer toy. It's super soft and super plushy for Christmas, and that was $6.99. The next thing I bought were these three ponytail scrunchies that will make my hair look like I'm wearing scarves. And then the next thing I got, which was a purchase that I did not at all need, but I wanted. I saw it, and I was obsessed is this white robe it's a size small a size extra small and it is a Calvin Klein in soft pink on there but then the last thing I got which listen was an impulse buy all of these were impulse buys who am I kidding live a little I did want a pair of shoes but I didn't end up getting a pair of shoes but then for coming in at $9.99 are these three adorable Whittle pumpkins. So I did need it. I don't need it, but like I did, you know, and so like they're just so Little so cute and they're pink so they match perfectly with our apartment This was such an amazing haul and I feel so good about it like I Feel really good about it and like I don't even feel guilty that I spent that much money because I've been working really hard lately And I've been really stressed anyway, so that was the haul so I hope that you liked it I hope that you liked what I got it's easy on your wallet and it's better for the environment. So it's just overall just the smarter thing to do. Please continue to wear your mask no matter where you go. Like I know that everything is open again. But wear your mask. Be smart. If it's not for yourself, do it for other people. Um, if you feel like you have COVID, go get tested. Make sure that you're doing proper precautions. Quarantining for two weeks or now it's 10 days or something, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Please stay safe. Also, I have a little bit of time left to register to vote. So register to vote, vote, do it. It is your right, your duty, your, it's an honor to get to vote. Uh, and a lot of people's excuse for not voting is because they don't feel educated. So please educate yourself so that you can go vote. Um, there are resources everywhere for learning what policies you should and shouldn't vote for, um, or the pros and cons to each policy. So that you can fully get an understanding. And I know that some of you might be sitting there right now being like, well, all those things are biased. It's not. There are some places where you can find just the policy, what it says, and then broken down into like layman's terms all over the place. Um, if I can find some before I get this video posted, I will be sure to drop those links down in the description box below. If you're voting by mail, be sure to vote early so that those votes get counted by the time November 3rd rolls around. But anyway, long story short, vote. Just go vote, please. 
yeah, that's not where I was expecting that outro to go, but I'm glad that it went there. Okay, I love you guys all so much. Bye!